Okay, so that was the theory, but we want to show you live. Everything here at Master the Market is about going live. So let's show you in a live environment exactly how this works. Okay, and a warm welcome here to this video on how to place your first trades on the Saxo Trader platform. And of course, this video is an accompanying video to the technology section on the Traders Basecamp, Master the Markets two-day Traders Basecamp workshop where we take you through live real-time markets and do a real-time analysis with you as well as teach you all of the key principles around the uh, world markets such as foreign exchange, stocks, equities, crypto markets uh, and so forth. So let's go on to the content of the video. What are we going to be covering today? So you can see here on the agenda um, that initially I would like to do a review of a trade that we have just closed out on, which is the Aussie dollar, um, which is AUD USD, which of course uh, ran from the 7th of June 2018 through to the 19th of June 2018. And I just want to do a review on that from the perspective of uh, what happened when we actually traded the, put the trade on initially. We actually ran a live trade because there was a certain criteria that was met and we actually executed the trade live. but. What would have happened, for example, if you had entered the trade at 10 p.m., you would have needed to place a pending order, which we call a sell stop. And for those of you that missed the trade, how could you still have got in even after the trade had moved? We use a sell limit. And so what I want to do is I want to go over the trade. It made 1,604 uh, pounds in real time. Uh, and so I think it is an important trade to review from the perspective of how would we have entered the opportunity um, at these various stages. So we're going to cover that first and then we're going to go on to calculating position sizes. Of course this you would have had a little pro practice of already in the technology section of the Master of the Markets Traders Basecamp workshop. And for those of you that bought the Trades Basecamp package, of course you will have got, already gone over the online materials. So we're going to do that position sizing and you can see I've got three trade opportunities that are set up here. Uh, one of them is the dollar Swiss long which we're actually placing this evening uh, on the Vedanta Elite set of trading strategies. You can see the very very tight stop um, that we've got there, uh, just 33 pips actually. Uh, and of course the target is a little distance away. It's got quite a high reward risk behind as does most of the Vedanta Elite trading strategies. Uh, then we've also got a sample of a dynamic breakout which of course you've learned on the trade space count which is the euro dollar just there and then i've also thrown in a uh, stock trade just as well on barclays uh, variation one dynamic breakout i'm going to show you how to position size on that as well and how then of course we physically place all of these trades on the saxo trader go trading platform so think of this as a step-by-step -step guide as to what you do in what order so we'll get on to the actual step by step uh, very shortly but i think it's important to review first of all as the agenda says the aussie dollar um, and that opened on the 7th of june let's look back at the chart on saxo trader go uh, and understand exactly um, what happened when we placed the trade so i'm going to show you how we got into the market on the day itself then I'm going to show you what would have happened if you had placed the order earlier uh, using a sell stop. And then I can also going to show you as well what you would to need to do should you miss the trade. Of course, that's not ideal because you don't always get a fill. But in this case, I know one or two of you in the live trade membership did miss the trade for various reasons, but you still got in using a limit order at the exact price that was required. And so um, congratulations to everyone that caught the trade making £1,604 uh, in our account there on the uh, on the Aussie dollar, US dollar, on the live trading room. So let's, without further ado, go over to the Saxo Trader platform. Okay, so you'll now see loaded on the screen the Saxo Trader Go platform itself. And it is, of course, set up and ready for us to place trade opportunities around. So I'm going to show you exactly how we are going to uh, identify opportunities, position size them, and then go ahead and place the trade using the platform. So before we do that, as I said, I'm going to do a review of the Aussie dollar. Uh, if you haven't already got the Aussie dollar on your watch list, which you can see in, actually in this example, I haven't, it's very, very easy to add. So all you actually really need to do is click on to edit, uh, add instrument. And then of course, it's gonna give you the opportunity to find the instrument and I'm just gonna type in AUD USD. And then you can see spot forex of the Aussie dollar just there is the one that I want to trade. 
and then I'm just going to move that up uh, because I like them to be in, in order. So I'm just going to drag that and drop it. There you go. Uh, and then of course I've got all of my currency pairs in order. I'm just going to click done. So that's set up nicely. So I'm just going to click onto the chart now. There we go. And then you can see because the screens are linked, uh, it automatically loads up for you the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. So let's go over now to the actual opportunity itself. Uh, and so you can see the day that we entered the trade was this seller bar just here. So you can see it's the 7th of June. Um, so the 6th of June, of course, was the what we call the primary minus one. This, of course, is the primary just here. And because of the nature of the bar, we entered on the close of that. So obviously we would not have seen any of this other movement at that time. So what I'm going to do, let's just go ahead and blank that out just for the purpose of this example, just so you can really understand uh, exactly what happened in real time. So I'm just going to um, just go to override some of the bars that are there at the moment. I'm going to blank them out just for the purpose of this example. Uh, so you can really get a feel for what happened and how it looked on that evening itself. So you can just see, I'm just using a, a pen here just to just to blank out what happened in the future because we don't need that information this time. So there you can see we had the bar that's set up on this particular day. And our prediction, our our goal of the liftoff strategy, of course, is to is to um, understand where the turning point in the market is going to be before it actually happens. And so you can see that was the premise of this particular trade. So we entered short, just having this information, um, looking at the possibility of this bar here becoming a swing high. Uh, and you can see that, of course, in the future, our prediction was accurate. And that's why the Aussie dollar did bank out uh, gross profit of 3% representing uh, on that account. 1,604 pounds. Of course, called in real time in the live trading room. So we entered the market short and we did it on the actual close of this bar. How would you actually do that if you wanted to place the trade now? Well, let me show you. What you would do, of course, is open uh, the trade ticket, first of all, for the Aussie dollar. So you would do that by just double clicking on the Aussie dollar just there. Now, I have this set up for what's called two-click trading in the Saxo Trader platform. Let's go ahead. Uh, so yeah, the two-click trading is set up there in the Saxo Trader platform. And what that basically means is it won't allow me to, I wouldn't accidentally, if I press sell on this now, it wouldn't enter me straight away into the trade. First of all, I need to enter some information here. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this type of, of trade because the nature of the trade on that evening itself was a live order. And in Saxo, live orders are done using a type called market. That's basically telling you that you're going to enter this trade at the current market price. And the nature of that Aussie dollar trade on the evening was that we needed to enter at market price. So there you've got the Aussie dollar just there. Then what would you do next? Well, what you need to do, of course, is add in the take profit and the stop loss, okay? So the way to do that, of course, you would put in the take profit. I'm not gonna key the levels in now because this trade is done. It's already banked out of profit um, and I'm gonna show you how to place the entire order ticket in later on in this video. But you would actually add the take profit and the stop loss, then you'd key in your position size. So however many lots of Aussie dollar you needed to buy, or sell in this case, um, you would just click onto that. As soon as you've completed that step, what you would then do is once you're happy with everything, uh, you would then go ahead and click the sell button and you'd confirm the trade. And what will happen is immediately, uh, you'll get a little trade ticket that pops up and confirms and immediately it will open the trade. So you will be live on that trade the second that you click uh, confirm. And you can see now I have a floating PNL on that Aussie dollar and it is moving. So this is what we did on the evening because it had a close in a certain part of the bar. We actually went to uh, sell the market live um, at a certain position size with a stop and a, and a take profit already in place. So that is uh, how we would have tackled that Aussie dollar if we were trading a live market. Now, uh, for some of you, I understand that um, even though uh, you didn't take the 1 a.m. close, some of you took the 10 p.m. close, and you may not have seen the bar setup that we needed to go live. So what you would have done is actually placed a sell stop in this case. You would have placed an order 
on the low of this bar just here. So instead of actually, what does that mean? It, it just means this. So instead of actually uh, placing the order live real time on this close here, let's go ahead and draw this in and we'll make it a nice blue so it stands out. Um, so instead of actually selling the market live at the current close price, which of course represented by this blue line, what you may have done is placed a sell stop order. And that is of course an order to sell the market at a worse price than where it is at the moment. Uh, and then you'd ask the broker of course to trigger you in when the market reached that blue line instead. And that would be done using a sell stop order. So what we would have done in that instance is gone into the Aussie dollar, but this time instead of type being market, we would have put a stop right a stop and again you'd have keyed in the number of aussie dollars you were going to sell in this case you would have then gone ahead and put in a stop loss and a take profit and then you would have keyed in the price at which you wanted to sell the market so let's say for example 0.7350 um, just there and then i would just click the sell button and what that would do after i confirm is that would place a pending order in that instance it will place a pending order and you can see that it is not listed under positions which my current live aussie dollar trade is listed under no where it is listed is under orders and there you can see it's got aussie dollar stop if offered sell the amount the price um, your stop loss and take profit of course would be there because you'd have keyed it in so that is placing a sell stop order so that is getting on this blue line which is underneath where the current price is at the moment so that's how we would tackle that now uh, what happened in real time well the trade did start to move you can see that when I reveal all the bars but let's say for example you missed the first part of the trade for whatever reason and you still wanted to get into the opportunity so what we'll do let's go ahead and just uh, just blank out so some of the rest of these bars just here because we don't need them at this time for the purpose of this example it'll become a little confusing if they're there there we go so let's say that you we had already entered the trade we were holding the trade from this particular day here of course the 7th of June and the price has progressed lower but then it's also come back as well and you can see it's hovering it's accumulating at this price level and what you can do if you had placed um, if you'd missed the trade, uh, but you still wanted to get into the opportunity, what you would do then is go ahead and place um, what, what is called actually here a sell limit, where you're actually going to sell the market at a better, you're going to sell the, sell the market at a better price than where it currently is. What do I mean by that? Let me, let me, let me demonstrate just here. So. Uh, once again, I'm just going to blank out these bars because they're not relevant for the example and make us another confusion. Right, okay, so let's take this out as well. There we go. So let's say that you had missed the trade opportunity, okay? And this next bar had come into the market and the trade had already started to run, but you still wanted to get in. What you could do is place what's called a sell limit order to sell the market at the same price level that we got in. So even though the market has already gone lower, it's down here, you can see where the current close price is. Even though the market has gone lower, you can use a sell limit order to sell the market at a better price than where it is to get in the exactly correct level. And the way that that would have worked is you would have, of course, uh, placed that sell limit order at this price level. The next bar would have come in, which is that buyer bar just there. It would have opened down here, but it would have come all the way up, triggered your sell order there, and then your expectation would be that the price would continue lower. And that's exactly what happened. So you can see that even though you missed the opportunity, you could still place it as a sell limit. How would you do that on the platform? Again, I just double click this Aussie dollar. I would use type, not quick trade, but I would use last time I used stop. So I've shown you so far market, stop and now i'm going to show you limit i would use type limit i would key in the number of aussie dollars i want to buy at i would key in the price that i want to buy at as well and this would need to be a better price than where the market is so 0.7630 and then i would click of course i'd add my stop loss and my take profit very important and then i would click sell and there you go you can see now that has been listed as a limit order and sell at the market price if we have uh, a limit order just there. So you can see I've got that limit order in place and that limit order is to trigger all the way up here at 7600 uh, 
7630. So that's just here, that limit order is set up. So if that means to say now that if the market were to climb, if the market were to climb higher, it would trigger my sell, sell limit. I would sell the market when the market has climbed and then I would expect the market to continue lower. That would be my expectation. So of course, if the market continues to progress higher, it will take you out on your protective stop. And remember, of course, everything we teach at Traders Basecamp is around risk management. You're looking to manage the risk. So that's the three types of orders that you could have placed on that exact Aussie dollar. Of course, that grossed the 1,604 pounds of profit for us there in the live trading room. Let's now go on to the next part of the agenda, which is of course going around the opportunities that we have actually currently floating at the moment. And the first one I am going to place, what I'm going to do just before I do that, as I'm just going to cancel these orders because I don't want them to be resting on the platform when I place the other orders, it will become a little confusing. So what I'm going to do is just click cancel because this is how you cancel an order that hasn't triggered. You're just clicking on to cancel. You can see it's deleting those orders off the screen just there. I'm just going to say OK to the ticket. The um, live trade that I've got as well I'm just going to close on to and of course to close that trade I'm just going to press buy and that is going to make my position flat just there so it tells you there that it is square and it has been closed just click OK and of course that's all done okay so um, there's no trades running at the moment uh, on these on the market for me so uh, what we'll then do is go ahead and yep it gives you a little information about it when you click the information tab um, so then we've got no trades running i'm going to go to the next part of the agenda so uh let's do that here we go so the next part is calculating position sizes based on a fifty thousand pound trading account and uh, we're going to start with this trade opportunity here this is the dollar swiss long on prime profits of course one of the Vedanta elite trading models a very high-end model with um supreme reward risks behind it it's absolutely uh, brilliant genius the way that some of these models have been constructed to give us such high reward risk uh, really gives us an edge in the market so now we have the levels just here what i'd like to do is i'm going to um just do a split screen here so one, one half of the screen i'm actually going to position our trade calculator and we the calculator that we use is the calculator that is located on a website called myfxbook position size calculator i've put a link for you in the bottom of this document um, and of course for those of you that are um, live trade mentorship or live trade mentorship advanced uh, members or Vedanta Elite you will of course have access to this document because it is located in the cloud area in the Dropbox folder uh, which is of course shared with uh, all of you just there so uh, you will have access to this document so you can access it at any time let's go to the position size calculator and we can see that um, I'm going to just refresh this uh, just there and there we go that will give us a nice blank uh, that will give us a nice blank um, uh, screen let me just go ahead and close uh, the little notice there continue there we go okay so let's clear out some of these values in fact what we'll do is just go ahead and there we have it so we'll just move across here okay okay perfect so uh, again let's just open this out a little bit more that's what we need just there and I'm going to just share this out a little bit more there as well okay so what do we have the first uh, opportunity I want to size up is the dollar Swiss long prime profits strategy on Vedanta Elite so we know that our account is in pound sterling okay so of course you change this for the relevant account that you are trading with uh, we know the account size here 50,000 okay the risk reward ratio uh, oops I think I clicked paste there by accident so 50,000 the risk reward ratio we're gonna take 1% risk on this trade then it's take a telling me stop loss in terms of pips that's very easy all I need to do is take away the entry from the stop okay so what does that give me 9945 take away 9912 that gives me 33 pips of risk so stop loss pips equals 33 okay so that's exactly what I'm going to key in to that box just there okay what currency pair am I trading I am trading the dollar against the Swiss franc 
so let's go ahead and select dollar swiss there it is and then all i do is press calculate and what it then does for me is automatically it calculates the position size the important part of the position size as far as saxo trader pro and saxo trader go are concerned is this part here is the number of units because in the position size box it is later on going to ask you how many units would you like to buy or sell of dollar swiss so we're going to key that information in here as well units and the answer 198420 okay so 198420 units is what we're going to buy of dollars of us dollars just there okay good so we've done and sized that trade up now let's go to the trading platform and let's go ahead and key in the values for uh, for this dollar Swiss trade. Now it is a long trade, okay, and I'm buying at a worse price than where the current market is, which means I need a buy stop order, right? Let me explain that. So first of all, let's click on to dollar Swiss, which you can see isn't currently on the instrument panel. So that's very easy to add. Remember, you just click on to edit, add instrument, USD Swiss. There's the spot forex. I'm going to drag and drop it and click done there we go so dollar against Swiss franc there it is it's going to load up the chart for me and let's have a look at what we're doing here so the current market price is 9937 9937 is the current market price where do I want to buy I want to buy at 9945 okay so I want to buy at 9945 current market price is 9937 of course this is a buy stop because I want to buy at a slightly worse price than where the market is currently. My stop 9912 and my target 10068. Okay, units 198420. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze this uh, for the time being. here. Okay, there you can see I've just made the platform a little bit smaller so I can fit in the uh, Word document just next to the screen. What I'm gonna do is just squeeze this a little bit more. So I don't need that much space. Uh, and I'm just going to open that out just, there we go, right. So, okay. So let's have a look at this just here now. So I'm going to place this trade opportunity. Let's double click on the dollar Swiss franc, okay? First piece of information that's important is that we're going long. Uh, and this is an entry above where the current market is. I'm going to use a stop order. And of course, I'm going to key in the number of units. Now, I've already calculated that. 198420 is the, uh, 198, is where the, where the market is in terms of what, how many units we need to buy. What's the price I'm going to buy at? Well, that's easy, 0.9945. Then I'm gonna key in the stop loss and the take profit. So 10068 uh, is the take profit uh, or the limit order. So it's telling me number of pips 50 here. So what I'm going to do is just change that from 50 to an actual price level, right? Which is how I prefer to put the target in, 1.0068. And then let's go ahead and key in the stop loss. And this is of course a stop. Again, I'm going to change this across to price just because it's easier. I like to use the price facility here and key in the exact price 0.9912. Okay, and that isn't apply just there. Okay, so everything that I've needed is now keyed in. I'm buying the market at 9945, and so I'm going to press the buy and confirm. And again, remember this is not loaded under the uh, positions because it is an order to open it's going to be listed under order and there is all the information should i have made any kind of mistake or need to change anything i can of course click modify and i can change anything that i need there and then make the changes as necessary and then close the ticket and update it okay so let's do the next uh, trade opportunity together which is on the euro dollar uh, this time this is a short and it's a variation for dynamic breakout of course for those of you that have uh, attended the trades base camp two-day workshop you'll already understand what the dynamic breakout variation for is all about and here is the trade opportunity we're going to go short off of this seller bar just here in fact if I grab my pen tool I'll be able to show you exactly uh, so we're going to go short off of this price level just here our stop is going to be on the high and of course the target is going to be times two uh, as dictated by the smart money indicator 
the master of the market smart money indicator smart money indicator elite um, of course key tools in understanding the dynamic breakout variation for let's go ahead and uh, key in the levels into uh, the um, calculator and of course before I do that it's good for me to work out my stop loss in pips so let's key that there we go so in this case I'm going to do uh, 11508 takeaway uh, 11644 and that of course is 136 so I have 136 pips of trade risk okay how many units is that so of course to answer that question I need to go across to our calculator so let's go ahead and bring up the calculator there it is and let's go ahead and key in the details so it's a 50,000 pound trading count a 1% risk uh, the stop loss in pips 136 the currency I'm trading euro US dollar so let's go ahead and find that click onto it and calculate if I scroll down it's giving me the key bit of information there, the number of units of euro that I need to sell, 48,433. 48,443. Now we've got everything we need from that, we click over to the platform, double click on the euro dollar, and of course we need to change type to stop once again. And of course we need to key in the number of euros that we are going to sell number of units 48 for 43 and press enter there what price am I going to sell the market at the entry is 11508 1.1508 add the take profit and the stop loss again you click on to take profit it's going to be a limit order I like to enter it in terms of price and I'm going to key in 1.1 two three six in this case there's the limit order there's the target that I'm working off of and the stop loss of course is going to be stop again price and I'm going to key in the stop price one one six forty four and I'm going to click apply and that's it your trade ticket is set up and of course this time I'm going short so I'm going to click the sell button and that will of course confirm my order to open on the euro us dollar just there okay so that's done on that side let's go ahead and do the final opportunity which is of course uh, stock in this case a variation one dynamic breakout on barclays to go long how am i going to calculate that so again i've given you another tool that you can use here which is the cfd position size calculator just here um, and what i've also done as well is i've just referred across to the Traders Basecamp manual because we've actually shown you in the Traders Basecamp manual and for those of you that never trended, attended the two-day Traders Basecamp workshop or bought the Traders Basecamp package online uh, which you can of course do uh, by going through our Trade Starter Pack, traderstarterpack.com, key in your name and email address. You will be able to understand how you can obtain the Traders Basecamp package to understand all of this and this is the risk management formula to work out how many shares I need to buy or sell uh, on a risk managed basis so of course here I've got a worked example you can work through that in your reference manuals uh, but I'm going to show you just here a practical example of how we ascertain the number of uh, shares that we are going to buy of Barclays in this particular instance okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a calculation for uh, number of um, the, the trade risk in this case of course which is uh, trade risk in this case we are working it out in terms of points so this is of course very important why do I say that is because now we've switched from thinking about pips to points okay so I'm gonna work out the number of points and to do that I'm gonna key in uh, 2.0475 takeaway 2.0220 Okay, so that gives me just there 0.0255. Okay, so what does that mean? It means very simple. So what I'm going to do now is key in. 
so that's our trade risk in terms of points of course this means if we're actually doing it in points it's actually I'm gonna say not trade risk in points just there so that is our trade risk so 0 0.0 to by five now how do I calculate the number of shares it's actually very very easy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a division between my trade risk which is 500 divided by the number of points of course in this case 2.55 that's the actual number of points that I am risking on this trade right 2.55 and so I'm just going to go into this and I'm going to type in 500 divided by 2.55 and you're going to see that I get 196 and 196 is actually the number of shares that I'm going to buy if I want to risk manage this trade down to 1% so how do I go ahead and place the trade shares okay so how do I go ahead and place a trade well very simple the Saxo trader uh, platform is excellent in that it gives us 30,000 different markets to trade so if I click on to edit and I add the instrument once again in this case Barclays and there is the Barclays CFD looking for the UK version so scroll down just a little bit there it is and I'm going to click onto that there you can see it's added it to my watch list I'm going to order it uh, as I have done with the rest of my uh, instrument set and I'm going to click onto the Barclays stock there you go there you saw an image of the Barclays stock and I'm going to go long on this bar just here with a stop just underneath it I'll double click this how do I place this trade? It's very simple. Remember, this is going long and we're buying at a slightly worse price than where the market is now, buying at 204.75, so I need a stop order. The quantity. So the quantity can work in two key ways, uh, but in this, in this instance, it's asking us for quantity in terms of number of shares, okay? So asking us quantity in terms of number of shares, so I'm gonna type in 196, okay? So I'm gonna, but, but, go for 196 and it's telling me at the bottom here that that's um, 378 pounds 28 worth of shares which is absolutely correct so I've got 196 I'm going to add in of course my take profit and stop loss which is of course very important my entry price uh, I'm going to just in fact before I key that in I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in my entry price 204.75 is my entry price just there then I'm going to go ahead and add in my stop loss and take profit so my take profit in this trade 209.85 and look it's asking me if I want to do it in terms of percentage which I don't I want to use price once again as I did with foreign exchange so I'm going to go ahead and key in price there we go and I'm going to go ahead and type this in. So uh, the price, of course, that I want to take profit at is, you can see just down here, I've got everything listed, 209.85. My stop loss, where is that going to be? Again, in terms of price, it is going to be 202.20, okay? So that's it. This is my entire trade ticket filled in. It's telling me um, that it's 401 pounds worth of shares when it gets to the entry price, 204.75. And of course, what I'm going to do from there is just click on to uh, buy. And what that will do is it will place a order to open. There it is under CFDs. You can see it's all placed just there. And it's telling me how many shares I'm going to buy. It's got it down here, 196 at 204.75 um, and the current price of course 193.24 that will rest up until the point it reaches that level and you can see here I've got the stop order it's already told me where what level we're going to buy, buy stop at just there it's told me where the stop loss is and it's told me where the limit order the take profit is as well so if and when the market gets to that point it will of course buy for me automatically and that's basically it that takes us to the end of our tutorial uh, you've understood and learned how to uh, You've understood and learned, first of all, we reviewed the Aussie dollar, which of course we opened on the 7th of June 2018, all the way through to the 19th of June. We showed you how you can execute the market live on the Aussie dollar or any trade, use a sell stop and use a sell limit. You've understood how to position size based on 
a 50,000 pound trading account on two foreign exchange uh, opportunities that we've lined up as well as one stock opportunity as well and we have physically placed the trades on Saxo Trader Go. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you very much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you very soon in either the live trading room in the Vedanta Elite trading room or of course at a trader social event sometime in the near future. Until the next time, stay disciplined, follow your plan and trade like a master. Bye for now. We trust you enjoyed our Traders Education Center tech video. To unlock the full tech modules for free, click on the link below and hit the subscribe button. Then go ahead to register with your contact details and create your unique username and password to enjoy the fully unlocked tech modules.